morning. And welcome to cloudy Winnipeg. Right now, we should be seeing the sun coming up over the, over the berm. If we were going to see it, that is. But we're not going to see it this morning. Unless we're really lucky and suddenly the clouds uh, sort of open up in the right spot. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's probably going to be a rainy day. It rained last night. Well, as I've sort of indicated before, it's not raining on the model table. And it is my plan to get through a lot of these mushroom vents. Uh, what do we conclude? There was well over a hundred altogether. Uh, I did come back to the model table yesterday afternoon and evening and I did work at this quite a bit. Uh, I got through, uh, well, I, I got, uh, you can't see them because they're so small. I think I mentioned in my rollback how we, we had a whole bunch of mushroom vents and 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 where are they? Well, they they are on there. If you if you look if you look really close, you can sort of sort of see them sprinkled around. I'm guessing that maybe half of them are on on the uh, uh, forward part of on the bow part of the ship. Uh, but uh, we got a long ways to go here. So I'm going to sort of putzky at it off and on all day. Uh, I'm getting a real early start. I uh, thought I may as well. Anyway, let's let's just sort of roll back and see how it is that, you know, we got to where we are. And then we'll just sort of continue on. Okay. I have spent probably at least, well, I guess about two hours trying to decide or trying to figure out how I can make my overhead turntable. And every once in a while I'll think, oh, this I could do it this way. And then I realize I've got a problem. In fact, for a while I thought, well, instead of turning the camera ar around over top of the whatever you want to video, why don't I put the, turn put the boat on a uh, Lazy Susan, like a turntable. And then I realized, well, I'd still have the same problem because when the, the edge of the boat came up against the tripod or whatever I was sitting the camera on, you know, I'd, I'd be, I'm in the same place I am right now. Anyway, um, that can wait. It's not something we have to do, but something we do have to do is get these uh, G5s, and there's a lot of them, uh, stuck into place here. Now, if you remember, I was saying how the, the base of the G5, the uh, paint sort of ran down and pooled which means it's not going to want to plug into the hole. Now, the very first one is this one right over here. Well, I wouldn't, wouldn't you know I dropped it. Maybe what I should do is uh, slip the macro lens on so that you can sort of see what's going on. Um, and as I mentioned in, in uh, the last video, last episode, um, I'm not going to video doing every one. We'll, we'll just do, you know, maybe this first little row right here. And... Uh, and then I'll just go ahead and try and get them done. Um, yeah, because it's sort of like when you've done one, you've basically done them all. Even even the larger ones, the H9s, for instance, there's a there's an H9 that has to go. I believe it's right right here. And uh, yeah, so it, it's going to look much the same. Anyway, just let me uh, slip the macro lens on here, and uh, uh, we'll move right in. Now it really makes a difference when you change lenses, doesn't it? Now these tweezers will work better for picking something up. But, uh, just gonna have to twist it a bit here. It'll also scratch the, uh, the, the uh, sh shaft, so I don't want to be using those to push it down. I use these ones here. Oh, you know th these are probably going to fit pretty good. I, I was afraid that, uh, you know, I was afraid that I was going to have a problem getting them in, but I don't see any of the holes so far that look like they're plugged. So, so this is probably going to go pretty good. Now we we got to be able to hold that in there. So 
that, that was sort of the dry run. Now let's do a wet run. Get our extra thin going on here. Oh my, look at that. Um, maybe I'm going to have to uh, find another way to apply it. Having trouble here. Okay, let's make sure that it's straight. Let me check the monitor. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's going to solidify really well. And that stuff that you see oozed out at the bottom, that will actually shrink a little bit. And, and even if it doesn't, it's going to look like, well, rust ran down, sort of like weathering almost. But I've got to figure out a another way to get the get less glue okay I'm using my old Tamiya bottle here I don't know if that's any better or not that look okay? No, it's got us go a little bit to the right here. Oh, a little bit more maybe. I think that has to go to the right as well. I'm just going to say, is there any on there, but I can sort of see it oozing out. Okay, I'm going to swing just a little bit to the right. There's one more to go of the five. like it's kind of a dry fit. This entire step is G5s and a few H9s. Now you notice that there are five holes right here. I guess I shouldn't be poking like that. All right. So anyway, there are the five holes. The center one takes an H9. So we'll do one H9 uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the rest off camera. Okay, first we're going to do a dry run. And on this one you can really see the stuff down in the bottom of the of the shaft there. I, I'm pretty sure that once we get a little bit of extra thin in that hole, it's it's going to go. Maybe it's going to go.
Do I need a little bit more? Where's my other... This is just not going. Oh, I think it is now. Okay, you know, the other ones I think, uh, yeah, the other H9s, I think I'm going to have to uh, drill out the holes a little bit. Okay, now we'll check that out uh, after it's dried and see how bad it looks. Um, I, once again, I probably put on too much. Oh my, I just checked the monitor. That looks terrible. Okay, they're all on. Now, it's kind of funny. When you're looking at the manual, you know, a few minutes ago, or actually a few hours ago, it looks like a lot. But when you look on the deck and you realize that they're all on, and I, I know they're all on because I circled them as I went, so I know I didn't miss any, but where are they? <laughs> anyway, got a comment from one of the viewers. So we're going to deal with that problem right now. Now I don't think this is going to be in the road for putting anything down, but if it is we can always peel it back. I don't think we're going to be getting to that place for a while yet. Alright. We have done 16. Seventeen. Well, it looks pretty much the same, only it's uh, a whole bunch of G23s. G23, 23, 23. Well, here's a, here's a J5, one J5. And it looks like three more J5s. So it'll be the 23s and the J5s. Yeah, well, I think once again, I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll do a J5 on uh, camera, being as it's a little different. But the 23s, they look a lot, an awful lot like the... Well, we'll do one we'll do one 23 as well, to see what the difference is. Okay, there's only nine J5s, but there's a lot of 23s. This is all 23. Um, now, if we start at this end and work our way across the page systematically again, which seemed to work pretty good, uh, 23, it looks like you get three sort of coming together, and it's these ones just over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you on the other side here. Okay, once again we're going to do a dry run here. Yeah, I think they're going to go. Should I maybe be enlarging that hole? I, I don't think so. Let's just uh, get our extra thin here. And let's try not to make quite as much of a mess this time. We'll just... This barbette is uh, very handy for a steady rest. Okay, this one went somewhat better. I'll stick the macro lens on for the other two.
Did this one not go down? Oh yeah, it went down. I guess they're just a little bit taller. Okay, so here we have one of those little G5s that we had so many of. And here we have a larger H9. But if we take a look at the... Uh, let's see if I can hold it so you can see it here. You can see it's got to go over a peg. Now, that threw me for a moment there I, and because I was looking for a hole. So uh, let's just make sure it's going to fit. Oh yeah, that's going to fit. I think it's level. Okay, remember we did those. And uh, where are we here? We did this one right here. Okay, continuing right along here with our G23s. Um, I think what I should do though is uh, edit out the footage that I've taken this afternoon and evening because I may have more than I think. And uh, not that it matters, the video will just be a little bit longer, right? And whether I'll be coming back to this later on this evening or not, I don't know. I've got an hour or two before I want to call it a day, so I'm feeling pretty uh, upbeat right now. and. Uh, uh, well, why don't I just stop talking and start editing and and we'll see. Well, I have said this before. Time flies when you're having fun. And I had no idea that I'd shot so much video there. Anyway, uh, by the time I got it all edited out and uh, removed all the dead spots and tried to shorten everything up as best I reasonably could, yeah, it took about two hours. Uh, actually, over two hours. <laughs> but it was fun and I enjoyed it. I'm not complaining when I when I tell you stuff like this. I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know how it goes. Anyway, it looks like we're going to have to see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And I guess it's probably about... Ten years ago now, I was watching a series on TV, and as if I'm not mistaken, it was the the second uh, version of Hawaii Five O, not the original one, but the the, the uh, well, the one that was running about ten, fifteen years ago. Now, I was watching it on my computer, so I was able to go through the entire eight years in just a few months. I was, I was watching an episode a night pretty much. But what, what I, where I'm going with this is that um, in order to hear the dialogue, I had to have the volume turned up so loud that the music was just, well, it was overpowering. And uh, by the end of the show, after not listening to it for about, well, because you're listening to it on the watching it on the computer, you're only watching for about 45 minutes. But after the 45 minutes was up, my ears were actually ringing because the music was so loud. Now, where I'm going with this is that uh, one of the comments that I got in yesterday's video, the person indicated that the mu my music was a little bit loud. Uh, and I'm just sort of wondering, uh, how how do you find it? I, I am very careful not to have the music too loud uh, because it really annoys me. Uh, so I figured it's probably going to annoy other people as well. And I'm wondering, how, how are you finding my music? Am I, is my theme song coming on too strong at the beginning? Um, 
which runs for like a, a minute or so, and maybe at the end it's too long. I have it, I have it fade, fade in. I know I have it fade in, but when I have it fade out, or, or fade up rather, when it fade at the end of the episode, uh, may, is it too loud? Is it annoying? Uh, or, or maybe the person was talking about the music I dubbed in for the sun, the sunrise. I don't know. Anyway, if you could just let me know, do you find my music too loud? If, if you do, I'll, uh, I'll tone it down. Um, there, I don't have music that often anyway. Um, okay, I'm going to continue on here today, and uh, uh, just sort of putzky away at this and uh, see where we end up. Uh, I'm not going to video it. I think a UK Jason said, "What? You're not going to show every every mushroom vent being put down?" <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, Jason, I'm not going to show every mushroom vent being put down. But I'm going to stop talking here and get at this. Okay, I didn't count them. But there must be about uh, 30 pieces here, just eyeballing it. And uh, as near as I can tell, I haven't missed anything. So that's it for step 17. 18. Uh, a few more mushroom vents, but it looks like we're going to be putting some square boxes down. And uh, these... Uh, uh, tubs for the uh, for the guns. At least I'm assuming that's what they are. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, everything that is on this page, we've painted. So I don't think we're going to have to paint anything. I think it's a case of just getting at it and sticking it down. Now, being as I've already videoed to death putting down mushroom vents, we won't do these. But maybe we'll uh, show a couple of these boxes here. Um, yeah, and maybe one of these round things. Where are they? Here they are. Well, there's one of them anyway. Oh, there's, you know what, there's five of them all together. I guess there's uh, some go on the stern as well. Okay, two go on the bow and three go somewhere else because there is five. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, recompose and get at it. Well, you know what? I'm going to just quickly go ahead and get the these mushroom vents down, and th then we can work on the boxes. It looks like there's only about two, four, about eight or so mushroom vents. So I'm just going to quickly do that and get it over with. Okay, all eight of our G2s are in place now. And there was uh, probably about three or four of them that, uh, like the, these uh, mushroom vents were the kind that had the little hole in the base and it had to fit over a peg. And on some of the places it did not want to fit over very good. I don't know if I had built it up with paint too much there. Or I do recall uh, one of the viewers talking about parts not fitting too well. I don't know if maybe that's what he was referring to or what. Uh, anyway, I commented back and I said, for the most part, I find that... Uh, this kit is fitting together really well, and actually it is. It's just every once in a while you do run into something that doesn't want to go, and you don't know if it's something that you know that, that I did, or is it something the trumpeter did in their design. But most likely, I had too much paint on the peg. Uh, I don't think I got paint in the hole, but anyway, uh, yeah. So they're they're on now. G three. There's quite a few of them here. And they are some kind of a box or a hatch. Now, they are large enough that they could have been a hatch for somebody to actually get down from the main deck and to, to, to below. Uh, but I don't know if that's what they were or not. They're maybe some sort of an emergency escape hatch. I don't know. Or maybe they were just some sort of a storage box. The only thing is that you're going to see when I put the macro lens on that they're kind of at, at a bit of an angle. The, the way they're the way they're shaped here you, you you notice that if you want to call it the roof part or the hatch part is sloped this way instead of level across but uh, and it looks to me that we have to put them so that the slope is towards the back so like uh, we're going to be putting one right here and they fit over top of this this square peg 
Uh, okay, let's let's recompose and, and uh, stick one on. Okay, let's uh, do a dry run here first. Make sure it's going to go over the peg. Oh yeah, that's that's not going to be a problem. Now I'm hoping that that blob of extra thin that's sitting on the top there is going to wick down the sides, the insides of this box. I think it probably will. And Maybe I didn't put enough on. I know I'm constantly getting comments about you're using too much glue, you're using too much glue, and, and I actually I, I know that I am. That's just... Okay, I would think it's I would think that that glue will have grabbed the insides there. You, you would think so, though. You know what? I'm going to put some on the inside of the box here. Oh. Well, let's hope that evaporates. And uh, I'm sure it will. Okay, just forward of the little box that we just put on here that you can barely see, we have to put on three of these boxes and they are got pegs on the bottom and these ones they have the opening sloping towards the bow you notice that they, they kind of I think these are these are some kind of storage box the other might have been a hatch, but I think it might have been a storage box as well, although it certainly had enough latches on it. Okay, we're going to zoom in here a little bit, and I just want to do a dry run. I just want to make sure these pegs are going to fit. I'm pretty sure they will. These uh, almost would be a pressure fit, you know that? Okay, they're, they're going to go. I can tell they're going to go. Uh, I'm pretty sure the last one will go the same way. But uh, I think once we get some glue in those holes, maybe I should be using uh, this thing here to pick them up with. Yeah, that, that'll work better. Okay, let's get get it in the right orientation here. And uh, let's soften up the holes. Oh, that's maybe too much there. There. I'm going to do the last one the same way. Okay, let's uh, put on one of the Q3s. I think we have time for that today. Uh, 
Okay, the Q3s they plug in right here. Now I have to remember that I want to have these things positioned if they look better one way than, than another so that I will be looking at the ship from this the, from this side. This side here will be against the back of the case. This will be against the glass. So obviously the, the painting went better on some places than others so we I think about like that is okay. Um, okay let's just sort of move in a little bit. I don't know if I'll put the macro lens on or not. Uh, I don't think I need to. Okay, the rest of step 18 is just more of what we just did. G2s, G, uh, G3s, uh, J13s, uh, Q3s. Oh, there's a, a G19, but it's very much like the, it's very much like these right here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off today, uh, at least this this step, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So thanks for watching everybody.